just how much does that kind of solidify what you said that day? Yeah, um, you know, like I said Saturday, we got a lot of guys that can make make big plays uh, when you get the ball in their hands. So I think it's good. Uh, that gives us, gives us a lot of confidence on offense, knowing that anybody that touches the ball can take it the distance or make an explosive play that will positively affect the game. So um, I think that's really one of the keys of our offense being so successful right now. So you know, we'll just work on work on continuing to improve that. Being a senior, how have you been impressed maybe with how two has developed as a leader, you know, being only a sophomore, he's putting up fantastic numbers, but behind the scenes and you know, ways that maybe we don't see? I mean, I think he's done a tremendous job with everything that's been going on, um, him and Jalen both, you know, with everything that's going on with this quarterback, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, that's been going on for the past couple months. I think both of those guys have done a great job of just focusing on how they can improve as players. And they're both leaders for our team. And um, we know that we got two guys that, um, when given the opportunity, can be leaders for our offense. So I think both guys have done a tremendous job. I think that just, you know, really solidifies their leadership. Um, I mean, it was hard. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into being a leader. Um, you know, one of the biggest things for me was how can I positively affect my teammates? Um, you know, when things aren't going right um, during fall camp, it's hard, it's hot. Um, sometimes you don't want to practice in the game when things aren't necessarily going your way. Um, how can you? How can you still be positive? How can you positively affect the guys around you? So you know, that was just something that I knew that I would have to do coming into the season. So I've just continued to work on it um, up until this point. Um, I mean, that was a long time ago, but uh, yeah, he's a real energetic guy. You know, I know the receivers loved him whenever he was here, and uh, he was a great coach for us, and he was a big part of our program while we had success. So, you know, glad that he's doing well at uh, Louisiana Lafayette, but, um, you know, he's, a, he's an opponent this week, so we'll treat him just like everybody else. Um, I mean, I'll never complain about having a day off, but, uh, you know, Coach Saban thought that we, you know, that's what we needed for our team, so, you know, we're looking forward to it. Hale Hitches is, uh, you know, such a team player. Saban kind of lit up when he was talking about Hale. Mm -hmm. Do you guys kind of feel it when he scores, when he gets to score? Mm -hmm. Is it exciting to see a player like that who maybe doesn't get in the end zone as much as Steven does? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Hale's a guy that deserves all the credit in the world. Um, Hale really is one of the most important people on our team. I mean, he does all the dirty work, um, blocking in the run game, uh, being an outlet in the pass game, and just seeing a guy like that get in the end zone twice last uh, this past Saturday, you know, it was a really rewarding feeling for all the guys on offense. You know, just seeing a guy that doesn't necessarily get the recognition that he deserves, but you know, seeing all his hard work pay off and letting the light shine on him, it, you know, it was a great feeling for us.